Welcome, this is the Energy Vibration reading for the Libra and Sun, Moon and Rising Sign. I want to say thank you for being here, thank you for being back. This is the month of December, finally we are at the last month of December. And um, the Energy Vibration is the energy of the hair and this is going to be good and um, there's going to be a lot of changes for you Librans. So, um, you need to be advised of all these changes. I want to say to each and every person who has um, don donate to the cause, um, thank you um, for your donations. And um, if you can donate to someone in a, around your vicinity, that will be um, very good. I want to say to each and every person, it is a wonderful time to give because it's the time of Christmas, the veils are thin. Whatever you give is whatever you will receive in return. And this is going to be a wonderful, positive time. There are um, situations that are happening around us at this moment. And um, we need to understand that changes are coming up on us. It is the month of new beginnings. Um, new beginnings because it is the energy of hair. So it is the month of new beginnings. The angels that you have is Archangel Raphael. And this is wonderful. Whatever the situation, whatever that occurs in your life. Um, this is the angels of healing and abundance. See? And he's working also with the angels that are coming in because this is the month of December. So December is going to bring um, positive energies and, and positive light beams will be coming in. For you Librans, you have the energy vibration of the director of energy, uh, the director of the mental. So a lot of you are going to be um, balancing out and managing your own mental energy in this month, which is very good because once you are aware of what is happening around you and you can really focus on that and really um, direct the energy in a positive way, you are going to realize that um, these situation, uh, whatever mental situation you have dealing with, whatever thoughts, whatever um, association of whatever is going on in your life, you are going to realize that this is going to be very positive. Okay. So and here we go. I want to say thank you to all my subscribers and all the new subscribers who have come in. Thank you so very much for your supports, likes and shares. I'm hoping and wishing that you will continue um, in the new year. Okay, so we are going to look at your reading and look at see what is going on for you guys. Okay, so let's move the camera down. Okay, I hope you guys can see um, the um, cards. Okay, in the month of December, we have um, um, the month of December carries the energy of four weeks. In the first week, there is a water energy and you guys have the energy to work with is the shadow. Okay. And the shadow is um, with each and every person you have a shadow side. Uh, the shadow is the negative aspect of who you are. Okay. And the energy vibration in this month is going to be um, emotions in the first week, the water energy, fire in the second and the third, and the last week is going to be also emotions. Okay. So let's break the weeks down and see what is happening for you guys. Um, again, um, you in the first week is a water sign, uh, a water energy that you, so it's going to be double water for you. Um, Liberance. It's going to be double emotions. It's going to be emotions that you're looking at yourself. You're looking at the shadow side of yourself and the shadow side of yourself is the lower energy vibration of who you are. With everything there is positive and negative and each one of us have lower and higher energy vibration and this is what you be working with. This shadow side is going to um, bring out for you um, um, the situation of your um, money and this is going to affect a lot of men. So you have the five of pentacles and this is going to affect a lot of men. Okay. So, um, whatever is happening in the first week for the men, this is going to have a huge effect on you men because, um, it is going to affect a lot of you men in a lot of ways because you'll be thinking, 
how can I um, be a success for my family? How can I be there for my family? Because obviously there is um, my financial situation to get my family throughout the Thanksgiving, the Christmas or whatever. And by the way, happy Thanksgiving to the people who, um, not Thanksgiving, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to each and every person. I'm sorry, I should have said this before. So um, in the first week, it's going to be a week where you're trying to um, balance out. And this is the director. The director of energy is coming up to work with you men because you're working on your shadow side. Because what is happening is that um, your financial situation is not in ba balance. And what is happening is that you are going to try to balance out your financial situation. But it's, it's affecting you because you are trying to place the balance within um, the score of who you are and within yourself because you want to make sure that your Christmas is vibrated up an eye energy vibration which you can provide for your family or provide for whoever it is that you need to provide so the first week is going to be based and balancing out um, with your shadow side okay because you need um, to you know balance out your financial situation shadow side um, is when the energy of the moon comes up and um, that is how you are going to see that in the second week in the second week what is happening is that the energy of the wisdom um your inner wisdom and guidance is a little bit in array um you're not seeing clearly okay it's as if you're not going within to find the wisdom from within how to deal with a situation so this is in the reverse form and what is ha and what is happening is because uh, um, the energy of uh, you moving forward is a bit out of ray because you have the number seven, which is a positive energy, which is, uh, um, you know, the train of you moving forward in your life for something, something wonderful, something possible. But you are not finding the inner wisdom within to take that step and to move forward in your life. It's as if you're not seeing things clearly and uh, um, it is true because obviously there is a block. It's as if negative energies, so from, um, so much negative energies, negative um, thoughts, situations are around you that you're not seeing yourself clearly to um, see through this negative thing and break this mountain and break these blockages that are, um, um, you know, blocking you. So in the second week, it's not going to be one of the, the most positive week. The energy of the train is here. The train wants to take you and show you, but you're not um, finding the is inner wisdom to see how you can you move forward. It's as if the situations around you, it's as if you, you are on a mountain, um, going down a mountain where there is only fog and cloud in the second week, which is not really, really one of those positive energies because it's as if you're being blocked. Every every um, way you turn is as if you have been blocked and now you you have to find with the inner strength within to you know move the terrain on an ice speed and move away whatever this mountain whatever the block is that is happening um for you guys okay the third week is a more positive week the third week is a week of fire and you also have the energy vibration of um recognition um which is the number three recognition and reward so um for some people you be um receiving recognition and reward as to um, certain things, certain aspects, certain situation. Um, um, this is going to be good because um, when people recognize you for the work that you have been doing and um, for how you have stepped up on the plate and that sort of a thing, you are going to see that um, new doors of opportunities are going to be opening up uh, for you. And this is good because recognition um, this recognition, whatever that has taken place, you know, um, you are going to get good feedbacks from people for whatever um, um, reason it is. Um, it could be for your work. It could be for your study. It could be that you stand up against injustice from someone and that sort of a thing. Okay. 
as we move forward with um well, we're looking at the other energy that is coming in and it's temperance so a lot of you need to find um the uh, find inner guidance find a balance within and that is through um connecting with a very good friend and this friend is going to help you and support you to come through whatever is going on a very good friend is going to be there for you and help to support you towards whatever that is going on there is and you know i'm gonna break this week down because there is another message because it's as if um um there is people who are being blocked from you and they're very good friends because the third week is is one of the best week for you guys if i look at this because it is all it's as if you're clearing out and you're moving out and you're dealing with things and as you look in the third week um the three recognition is coming in rewards are coming in it was a positive week for positive situation and with that so you have two um earth energies so um the earth energies actually bring balance because you have the three of earth and you also have temperance which is number 14 which that is also an earth so you have the virgos who are going to be coming in to bring balance they're going to be very good um, friends or hurt sign people who could come in to bring balance because they're very uh, they're a balanced people so look out in the third week for the the, the capricorns the taurus and um the virgos because they're going to come in to help you as being a friend to bring balance in your life okay so this is going to be good in the third week so third week is christmas so then you connect with friends and family and sometimes your good friends are like family okay so we're moving on to the fourth and last week um your spiritual strength is in reverse that is the energy of the number nine it's in reverse so you have the inner wisdom in reverse in the second week and in the fourth week you have a spiritual strength also in reverse and that is saying that is that you're not finding the balance um, within yourself and around you it is as though everything is a rare around you there is so many things happening at once at the same time and um, what is what is coming up here is that um, at the end of the day in the fourth week whatever financial help that you need is going to come in okay because you have the ace of um, the the uh, materialistic gains the ace of the materialistic gains so whatever um financial um help you need or materialistic help that you need in the fourth and last week it is going to come in but there is going to be somehow of a blockage somehow of a blockage somehow as if people do not want to pay it out but it is it is going to come in but you have uh, um as if it was a dark the dark side is a blockage to it but it's it's eventually going to come out so if it has to come out in the last week of december it will come out in um the first week of january okay so um whatever is going on for you guys with your materialistic aspect because obviously this month is a month that you are going to be feeling a little imbalance in your materialistic world um at the end of the month you will hear of this um money coming into you but there is a block um and ask the universal angels and guide archangel raphael to heal whatever the block is so that that um that your financial um that the money will come through so you know call upon the angels and guide archangel raphael all the angels of abundance to come in and heal this blockage um that is blocking your materialistic flow ask the angels and guide to come in and heal the blockage in the last and final week somehow you need to find the true spiritual side you need to find um the inner guidance and the spiritual side of you because as i break the week down a lot of you men is going to be affected and i'm seeing here because it's all about you or your your um inner guidance is like in a array you can't see clearly and uh, 
um, call upon Archangel Michael um, in the beginning of the month and the whole month to, to ask for um, healing for whatever the blockage is because you have the energy of the mountain um, that is blocking you between um, friends, people who can help you and the energy of the cloud that is trying to block. But, you know, um, the, 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 the darkness of this cloud, because the darkness of this cloud, if you look um, with this cloud, the darkness of this cloud, what is happening is that as you can look, is that the dark side is coming from the third week, the side of Christmas. So it's as if whatever that has been happening for you um, in the week of Christmas, that was where the dark side is. It was as if the money was supposed to come in in the week of Christmas. It didn't come in. And then in the four weeks, it, it's actually going to come in because you, you can see um, how that energy takes form. So... Whatever is happening, um, the third week is going to be like one of your best week and whatever situation and endeavor that is happening, call upon the angels and guide. There is going to be help. All you have to do is to call in for help. There are strong spiritual beings who will help you throughout whatever situation is going on. Okay, so let's look at this. Um, Let's look and see what the love energies are for, for you guys in this week. Um, you have the energy of the Six of Pentacles for um, as the love energy. So, um, for, for, you know, because the first week is going to affect a lot of men in a lot of ways. And the energy of the Six of Pentacles is that meaning that you'll be um, connecting with Earth sign people who is going to bring you um, um, material help, but yet still, maybe this person said, you know, why don't we, uh, why don't you come over for Christmas? Why don't we do something for Christmas or that sort of a thing? But whatever it is, help is going to be coming in for you and help is going to be there for you. So whatever is happening for you, you are going to see how, um, you know, certain aspect of yourself and, you know, the, the energies are going to come in because money, it's all about money. You're thinking about money in this week. So it's not about love. It's about who or who I can connect with to get whatever in this week. Okay. So that's it. Okay, in the second week with the energy of love is that you're not really loving yourself and you're not really connecting in a good way to support yourself in um, endeavors and situation. What it is, is that you're looking for um, the love outside of you. Um, you're not thinking and connecting with who you are as a true spiritual being, but you're looking on the outside, this sort of an energy that is happening on the outside of you it's not you're not finding inner true peace and inner love for yourself it's all about looking on the outside and hoping that that love will come to you instead of looking on the inside so whatever is happening for most of you liberals is that you need to start focusing on who you are and connect with your own self to find true inner peace and true inner love let's look at what is happening in the third week in love Whatever is happening, um, there are some friends who are going to be um, stabbing you in the back. There are going to be some friends who are going to be stabbing you in the back. And this could be that your um, relationship with your partner, there are going to be a lot of people who will be stabbing you in the back, okay? And um, it's okay because obviously you need to know about this and you need to know these people who they are so you can um, keep them off at a distance. Whatever it is, um, it is a form of hatred, whoever these people are, whoever these friends who had pretended to be friends, um, now, you know, they're backstabbing you. And it's okay because obviously you're seeing exactly who they are. Love comes in different forms. And sometimes when people are not off, um, are not with you and sometimes when people pretend their mask will come off and obviously uh, someone who is very close to you and pretend to be a friend um, is now stabbing you in the back so 
expect that to happen in the third week and it's a week of Christmas so a lot of people are going to be hating because they want to have the best and they want to be around and they want to pretend but the mask has come off remember in the third week whatever happened let that person go and move on in your life okay in the fourth week we see you moving on a new journey in um, the aspect of love happening for you guys because what is happening is that for some people and these are people who um, you know were in relationship and that sort of a thing and if the relationship was just based on only materialistic gains you are going to realize that um, these situation and people around you you're going to move away from them because in you know the week of christmas is always the time when you see people for truly who they are at the end of the day new love is going to be coming in for you so whatever is happening whatever that transpire in this month with the energy of love which is a month where you're going to see people for their true colors you're going to see people for really who they are and um, you're going to realize that people are only connected with some of you on the materialistic realm and there is no uh, connection of um, you know true love but whatever is happening at the end of the day new love is going to come in your life because you end up with the ace of cups and the ace of cups is a positive energy which meaning new love is going to come in your life so whatever that transpire in the month because this is not a month of love for you people it is a month of uh, realizing that you are disconnect from who you are you're not loving yourself and having that confidence and respect of who you are you're really not loving yourself and having that um, confidence and respect of who you are and you're going to find out that in the third week someone is going to stab you in the back and it's going to be okay because um, you can see and you will realize and uh, understand that people are who they are you know um for um, some relationships some marriage relationship is going to be good but for others it's not going to be good because you're going to realize that um you know things are only based in the materialistic form and sense and this is what is happening and this is what is showing up so you know there are different ways because what you're seeing here you you guys can't see it but help is on its way for you whatever is happening you can call upon your angels and spirit guides and the director of, uh, of mental is working with you because you're trying to balance your own mental capacity okay let's move forward and look at the zodiac energy we have here the energy of the Sun moon um, rising and here we have the energy of the moon rising so for the people who were born between the hours of 6 a.m. and 6 p.m. you are a sun sign person for the people who were born between the hours of um, 6 p.m. and 6 a.m. you're a moon sign person so first we are going to look at the energies for the sun people and um, a message that is coming through for the people who were having you know like looking for help in the first week it's going to happen okay so let's see what energy is coming out for the Sun people we have Sagittarian Sagittarius oh my gosh this is it's gonna be it's rooting a lot of things out of your life and then we have and then we have yourself the Libra balancing out the scale so this is this is extremely um, extremely good because what is happening here is that um, you are here with your own energy vibration you are here um, hoping up and, and connecting with your own energy vibration this is this is extremely good especially for the people with the sun sign because when Sagittarius come in your chart that mean um, you know expect changes expect changes because changes are going to be happening and Sagittarius is a planet that whatever that is not good it's going to root it out it's going to show you 
it's going to show you um what is happening and the sun in um the sun in libra reveals your radiance in a beauty okay that is what the sun in libra and the sun is in libra for you guys so it's going to um radiate um and reveal your radiant inner true beauty and you know that that is that is absolutely beautiful because what that is doing and that what that is helping you to do is to form yourself is to reform yourself and you know show who you are show that beauty that is within um we have satir um saturnus in the sun and it says be aware of the past the passage of time from day to day season to season and year to year so whatever is happening there whatever is happening there for the saturnus in the sun and saturnus and the sun is that you need to be aware of the passage of time and the passage of time is day to day season to season and year to year do not waste another moment okay so whatever is happening there for you guys you are going to realize that um there is this message that is coming in to let you know of uh, um to be aware of certain aspect of yourself because um wonderful things can come in if you just open up yourself and be aware um you know at the passengers of time the day to day the moment to moment the season to season and the year to year that you waste absolutely um none of this time okay we're going to move on and we're going to be looking at the lunar people the people who were born between the hours of 6 p.m and 8 a.m 6 p.m at 6 p.m. and 6 a.m. and you have the Gemini's who are going to be working with you so um, this is absolutely good this this is wonderful when the Gemini's are working um, with you guys because the Gemini's and uh, um, you guys are vibrating on the, the same energy vibration the Gemini's and the Pisces are coming in to help you moon people to work through certain aspects and I think the Pisces are going to help you to work through um, the um, to work through um, the um, um, what you call it now to work through um, your psychic abilities uh, connecting with the unseen world which is um, extremely positive because whatever is happening for you and whatever will about to happen for you you are going to see how wonderful and positive this is so um, it's, it's it's a beautiful month of cleansing because this month of um, um, December is a month of clarity it's a month of clarity it's a month of um, cleansing and having new beginnings and you can see the new beginnings for people in love you can also be in a relationship and be in love in a relationship and these new possibility of new love is coming in so um, whatever the situation is whatever that is affecting your life you're going to realize that things are going to be working out in your favor and you need to understand where you are um, for the moon people, um, you have Gemini, because, um, you know, you're a Libra. It's a balanced light, balanced light and darkness for true harmony. Balanced light and darkness for true harmony. And here you can see the light and darkness that you're trying to balance for true harmony. Whatever this light and darkness is, as I've said, here's another light and darkness, the shadow side. So it is really balancing the light and darkness in this month. You have also the scale, your whole, you're balancing out the light and darkness because the sun and the moon. So there's a lot, a lot, and here is another balance card, which you're trying to balance something because it's a lot of balancing because it's as if your spiritual strength is not here because it's in reverse and your true inner wisdom is also in reverse so you have the energy of um the number 80 which you're balancing out the light 
the darkness and the light which is very positive this is very good this is this is um, um, a powerful um, time in your life where because you're balancing out the light and darkness to start and have a new beginning so this is going to be um, positive in love there is um, in love there is going to be um, a new sense of uh, um, things happening for you I'm sorry there is going to be a new sense of new things happening for you new um, experience new situations coming in your life which is going to be good um, help um, with whatever situation you would need help for is here all you have to do is call up and ask um, Archangel Raphael is going to be one of your guiding angels um, in the month of December the bales are tin so it's good to ask so for you guys is balancing out the light and darkness in um, the month of December um, to bring a new beginning in your life I want to say to each and every person, happy, uh, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Um, I, you know, please listen to your sun, moon, and rising sign. The general energies are back, so please um, listen to your general energies because these are very important because there can be messages in the general energies that is not coming up in this reading. I hope you like this format of the style because I'm going to most focus on um, the element of hair. You are managing your mental capacity in this month and this is going to be positive. So ladies and gentlemen, I want to wish you a wonderful and a happy new year. Um, I'm hoping that you know next year is going to be a much positive one since as you um, some people are ending up the general energies of this year balancing the light and day there are people that is going to be you know helping you and these are um, your spirit guide do not look for help um, in this month um, it's not going to be one of those months where help is just going to come to you um, there is situation I would love some people are going to walk away from their relationship because they realize that um, they were looking for love in the wrong places and you know it was all about the money the materialistic things um, some people are going to realize that people will be stabbing in stabbing you in the back whatever that is let it go and just walk away because number one they weren't friends in the beginning so I want to say namaste um, I will speak to you next year. Bye.